Ah, Queen. Queen is in there. I greet you. I greet you now. Our prince, our amiable prince. Hello. I greet you. I greet My you. My fellow elders, we greet you. We greet you too. Um, we all know why we are here. For our prince to pick one of these lovely maidens as a wife. My prince, here we have lovely maidens from our land. They have come here to come and greet you. We hope you will find one of them eligible enough to be your wife. Maidens, one after the other, come and greet our prince. <coughs> She is the only daughter of Onoshi, the greatest umpire in this kingdom. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, she is the one that I've chosen for real. Exactly. She is the one that is going to thread the corridors of royalty with me. You have to work it out. <laughs> All right. My prince, if you say so, consider it done. <laughs> yes, I said so. So you must do it. All right. Spoil something for me. What? Eh, you didn't you see me squatting? I was aiming. Oh, I'm doing no good. I don't come out. Just spoil it for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Anything for you? <laughs> How did you find me? Ah, why won't I know where you are? Where else would you be if not in one bush or forest or the other looking for antelope or grass cutter? Where else would you be? Well, you shouldn't have come here. It's quite dangerous here. But it doesn't matter. If treading the dreaded and forbidden Alego road that leads to the evil friends will make me see you. I'll do that a million times. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 hmm? Do you know why I'm looking for you? Hmm? You know you promised to take me to Iyogwe River today. 
Yes, you promise we are going to swim together today. Mm. Yes. So please, let's and go. And what if I say no? There's no way you will say no now. Don't worry. I will send antelopes to you tomorrow. You will kill more antelopes. Grass cut. <laughs> Okay, leave me. Show me how to kill a bird. I want to learn how to kill hey, Wait, wait, wait. Why you? Hey! This thing can hurt you. Hey. Take it easy. Okay, I'll help you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, see, first of all, what mm -hmm. hmm? you need position here. <laughs> Be eh? careful. And then you aim. Hmm? See, look well, low. Sometimes it may look like human being, maybe it may look like animal, maybe human being. You ballon mad to So you look well. Aim, aim, you see, closing this time. Okay. One is open. Cower! You were there. Okay. I'll try, I'll try. Hmm? See? Close one eye, see. No, don't close two eyes. Can we get up? Okay, oh! Mm -hmm. And then, oh. mm. <laughs> Mama! Mama! Yeah, Mama! What are you doing here? Look, I said, what are you doing here with this Miss Craft? What are you doing here? We, we are... Let me greet you first. Good day night. Why will you shut your trap? Good, 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 good day night. What is good about the day? With you running around my daughter like, 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 a, a stubborn fly to a chunk of meat? So, what I did to you last time? Did not teach you a lesson. Did not make you take your cursed self away from her. You want me to send you to the to the to the land? Hey, hey, to your late evil parents. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't sorry for me. Sorry for yourself. Because looking at you, you are nothing but sorry itself. Sorry. And of course, I do not want you to infect my daughter or my family with your misfortune. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Remember, if you didn't go on the suppose I love more. Leave her alone. And you, stupid girl. You 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 have ears and you don't want to use them to hear. Next time I see you around him. I will cut those two ears and feed you with that. But Papa, here. go home. From here. Go. From here, come here. Go home. I said, run home quickly. Let, let me see you again with her. I am very disappointed, don't you? I mean, I don't understand the game. Eh? The last time we came, you promised to talk to your daughter on behalf of our prince. Now, here we are. She is not even at home to receive us. This is a very serious issue. It is affecting the future of our mog. Now, here, our prince cannot be crowned. He cannot hold the staff of office because he, he is yet to take a wife. And considering the fact that uh, the, the, the burial morning and burial ceremony of his father, our it's, late king, is over. Uh, please, please, my people, please be patient with me. No. Eh? Like I said earlier, I spoke to my daughter after your last visit, and she responded positively. But you know these girls of nowadays with youthful exuberance. I didn't know she went out of the house with her phone switched off. Even when I informed her about the prince's visit. Hey, but not to worry the prince, eh? Not to worry my prince. She's already your wife. And you're my hello. So, <laughs> don't worry yourself, eh? Don't worry. Please, make sure of that. 
I'm usually not this patient, if not for the love I have for your daughter, Wamma. Uh, make it happen. Whatever it's going to take to convince her, make it happen. All right? If it's money or gift that is going to grease the boat, feel free to let me know. I can leave open quota. All right? A child who has the backing of his father to go and steal can never be afraid of anything. As we all know, the prince is very rich. He is handsome. And above all, he is generous. He is the dream of every woman. But being the kind of man that he is, he has insisted that it is your daughter that he must marry. Onochi, mm -hmm. this is a blessing to you and your household. And if I were you, I would have done everything within my powers to make sure that this opportunity does not pass me by. Mom. Hey, hey, wake up. Energy by we and your child. No, you said the truth. <laughs> Who would not want his daughter? be the future queen of Amor. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I have made my promise and I will fulfill it. Adima. 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 Okay. Okay, it's here. You can have this. Eh? For me? <laughs> no, uh, you keep it. I don't. Oh, oh no, chair. This is a token. Eh, token. Token. But I'm not carrying for a token. Oh no, chair. Take it. And it's for you. Just a token. Can you have it? You're hanging my hand. Just, just have it. It's nothing. Hey, but no. Had my hand, hand, please. Ah, uh, it's, it's nothing. You can, you can have it. I mean, you can spare some for my future wife. And for your upkeep too. I heard you say your future wife. She is not future. She is now. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's if you want it. If you want it. I'm not sure. Like I told you before, the prince is a blessing to you and your household. Wow. And what you have there is just a tip of the iceberg. It's okay. <laughs> More are coming. Okay. We'll have to be on our way. All right. Hey, hey, mba, mba. hey. Stay small, eh? Let me entertain you. Mama made a special pepper soup for you. Wow. With the bush meat I cut yesterday. Just say. Hey, see, there won't be no for that, all right? I, I, I would have loved to stay back to enjoy this wonderful meal. But I'm running behind schedule for the construction of my new factory. All right? So you can keep that next time. We'll come again and again. Okay, when you beat man. <laughs> they don't have time for food. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Bye bye no. Hey. But where did one man go? One man, where did you go? You will come up. Good day, my prince. Good day, darling. How are you? Fine. Nine, good day. Uh, good day. How are you? I'm fine. Well, I'm just coming from your place and I was told you're not in. Any problem? <laughs> like your father didn't tell you we are coming for visiting? Of course he told me you people were coming, but he didn't tell me why. Oh, I see. 
Oh, well, I, I, I came in respect of the marriage proposal that we talked about. Ma, you need to say yes to me so we can commence with the necessary preparation. There's no time. My prince, with due respect, I can't marry you. I am so sorry, but the truth is, I have no feelings for you. I don't love you. I love someone else. Ma, Ma you have to. Stop being dramatic. I love you for crying out loud. And you know that I'm going to take care of you. I know. I appreciate your love. I know you love me so much. I appreciate. But I can't love you back. I am so sorry about that. I have only one heart and it beats for someone else. And if there's any other space in my heart for you, maybe I would have given it out. But there's none. So you just have to understand me. I can't love you, my prince. It, it beats for someone that is going to take care of you more than I will. I can't love you, my prince. Ma. Permit me to leave. Ma, are you walking out on me? I'm sorry, my prince. Please, I have to be on my way. Thank you. My prince. My prince, did you see that? I don't know why you are insisting on this girl. You know that Amogo is a land of beautiful young women of high moral standard. We have girls that are far more beautiful than I. You know it. Why are you subjecting yourself to this kind of embarrassment when she had told you outrightly that she doesn't want you? Why? That's the point here. The more she resists me, the more I am attracted and wish to spend the rest of my life with her. She's so unique and irresistible. Can't you see that? Uncle, you really need to help me in this. I love this girl. You can see that. I see. Help me achieve this thing and you really need to act fast. Please. You have to do something. Think. I see. I can see that your mind is already made up on yes, this. Sally. In that case, don't worry. I will make sure that she becomes yours. You will? Of course I will. Remember, your happiness is my utmost priority. That was one of the vows I made to your late father, my only brother. That as long as I live, I will do everything possible to make sure that you are happy and fulfilled in life. Most especially when you are sent the throne. I will do it. Whatever thing you have to do, you have to act fast on it. We don't have time. It's okay. All right? Of course. Let's go. Where are you coming from? I went to my friend's house. I went to see Chiamaka. Did I not tell you not to go anywhere that we were expecting an August visitor, the prince? Didn't I tell you? Papa, what has that got to do with me? Will you shut your mouth? What do you think the, the, the priests of this community will be doing here with the, with, the, with the entire royal cabinet? What do you think they'll be coming here to do? If not to ask for your hand in marriage? But I've already told you that I am not interested. I've said that before. Shut up and stop being unreasonable. Do you think that your entire life there will be another suitor better than the prince? Do you think so? Yes, father. I already have one. His name is Obitike. He loves me so much and I am sure I love him too. He is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with, not the prince. 
What? Ah, Mama. Mama, what do you know about love and marriage? What do you know? You are only a kid. Listen, my daughter. Marriage without financial security is just like a house built without a concrete foundation, which is bound to collapse any time. I am your father, and you know that. I love you so much. You are the only treasure I have in this whole wild world. I wish the best for you. And that best does not include Obidikeo at all. Look, your life is more secured with the prince, especially as the future queen of this community. Love is just a gradual journey. With time, you will grow to love him. Please, my daughter, marry the prince. Marry the prince. Father, I am sorry, but I can't marry the prince. I don't love him. I won't marry him. You will marry the prince. Oh. You must marry him. Ah, you must marry him. Oh. So you are, I just heard about her, I started rushing out to this place. How is she? So you see, um, it's quite unfortunate that your uh, friend's uh, condition has degenerated to this alarming point due to poor medical treatment. But um, uh, hopes are not lost. The only hope we have now is surgery. Yes, and it has to be within the next 15 days. Um, okay, Doctor, when, when do you hope to, do you plan to start the, the surgery? Immediately the deposit is made. Once her father drops something, we commence. How much? Mm, about um, 300,000 naira. Hmm? 300,000 naira. Hmm. Doctor, I'll be very honest with you. No magic that man can do to raise 300,000 naira. No how, no, there's nothing he can do. I'm not sure he has even seen that kind of money in his entire life. He's just a poor hunter like me. I'm afraid that's the only choice we have. And the earlier, the better. Honestly. Doctor, can you help in any way? Oh, come on, come on, don't even go there. You know I don't own here. I don't own this hospital, you know that. So there's nothing I can do. There's little or nothing I can do. Please. All you need to do is just to go out there, run around, get the money, bring it here so that we we'll commence treatment. Very, very urgent. Like I said earlier, it is urgent. Please. Uh, honestly, your guy, you see, um, your daughter's uh, condition has gone so bad, you know, as a result of uh, poor medical attention she got from the, the other hospital that she was taken to. But that is not to say that hopes are lost. She still has hope. Surgery has to be carried out on her. And this has to be between now and the next 15 days. It's very important. Hey, please, doctor, do all you can to save her life. Eh? See. She's all I have in this world. I can't afford to lose her. Please, doctor, commence the surgery immediately, please. please. Mm, the surgery will commence. It will commence, but not without a deposit. We need a deposit, you understand that? We are talking about uh, 300,000 Naira. What? Oh, yes. 300,000 Naira? Of course, yeah. Hey! Hey! Doctor, where will I get this type of money from in this world? See, I have spent all I have in the other clinic in, on our drugs and treatment before we were referred here two days ago. Mm -hmm. Doctor, I don't have any other thing again. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, I understand you. I understand you. It's not like I don't. I understand, but there is nothing we can do. We need this money to, you know, commence operation. Please. Hey, hey, wait, wait, doctor. Hey, please. Is there nothing you people can do to help me? See, I don't have anybody to go to for help. Don't I don't have. Okay. I don't own this hospital, you know that. It's a government establishment. Or do you want them to sack me? I know you wouldn't want that. There's nothing I can do. Hey! Uh, okay, go and look for the money. Leave all this. I don't know what you're saying, so please. Hey! That land you are giving me as collateral is not worth 50,000 naira. Talk more of 300,000 naira. If you want that kind of money, then you need to give me a bigger land. Bigger than the one you are presenting. Also, why are you talking like this? Eh? Why are you talking like this, Ozo? You don't know me again. This is Onocheo, your best friend. Mm. And you and I know that that land is the only land my family has. Mm. You know that. Then I will advise you to seek your loan from the royal cabinet. I mean, you are a big hunter in this village. If you explain to them that you want to use the money to save a life, then they will consider you. Also, you are a cabinet member. You know that I have already done that. But they did not give me. They refused. They told me that all the money in their purse have been channeled towards the, 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 the construction of the new town hall. That's what they told me. Well, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Also, please, don't talk like this. Please, I beg you, give me this money. I promise I will pay you back no matter what it, what it will take. <laughs> Honestly, eh? stop lying to yourself. You and I know that in your entire life you cannot raise that kind of money. Ah, look, look, I will advise you to just take that 50,000 naira for that land. That is all I can give you. I have a lot of problem myself to, to solve with money. So I cannot be bothered with your own uh, problem. Just that 50,000 naira for that land, that's all I can give you. So there's nothing again you can do. Ah, do you want me to behead myself before you, you understand what I'm saying? 50,000 naira for that land. Go and think about it. Chai. Chai. Mm. Alright. It's okay. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead with your beer, drink your beer. I will go inside to get the necessary paper for the agreement. I'm, I'll be back. Drink all, I'm coming. Good day, night. What are you doing here, Obedic? What are you doing here? I, I came to see how she's faring. Or oh, perhaps if she has died, eh? No. Now that you have seen how she's faring, what have you to do? No, of what use is it? Or oh, are you not aware that the doctor is demanding for 300,000 naira for the operation? Since you are so much in love with my daughter, why don't you pay the money and save the life of your so-called future wife? Eh? Listen, if you don't pay that money, hmm? let me not see your cross face around my daughter again. Did you hear me? Huh? No, he hasn't got into this now. Your daughter is sick, very sick. I only came to see her. What have I done wrong? What have you not done wrong? Eh? You have done everything wrong. Listen, you are nothing but a curse and an ill luck to anyone who associates with you. Let me warn you. Let me warn you. Keep away from my daughter. Did you hear me? Keep away from my daughter. Eh, Manos. You people must not allow this man see my daughter again. Did you hear me? Otherwise, you will not like what will happen here.
Oh, guys, seems you don't understand me. This is 50,000 Naira. I said 300,000 Naira. Let me tell you, even if you bring 299,000 Naira, it will not go anywhere. Just bring the exact sum so that we commence treatment. Please. Doctor, please. Please, this is all I was able to raise. See, I must tell you, I have even sacrificed the only piece of land I have for this. Doctor, please now. Okay, you need to make more sacrifices. Try some more. Try some more. God will see you through. Please. Hey! Ogwa Bokwa no nyite. Ogwa Bokwa no nyite. Doctor Bukono. Bukono. Oga, I wish I could help you. There's nothing more I can do. Biko. I don't want to be sacked. And you know it. Hey! Oka Msije. Oka Msije. Nothing compared to what they're asking. I, I 
think the best thing is to see the doctor again. But come on, I've seen him for more than five times. Five consecutive times. Give me some, some, some money. Please, uh, this is all I could get now. But, but it's, it's not just start. Just start, let the uh, operation commence. I'm still going through the street, I'm here. I'll bring more. What is this? How do you expect me to start treating this girl with this, this, this thing here? I'm sure it's not up to 20,000 Naira. Now, let me tell you something. These girls that came with 50,000 Naira as deposit, yet we did not commence treatment. Did you? Of course! Bro, I told you that I do not own this hospital. It's a government establishment, so you should know that. I don't mean to sound rude, but you see this money? It will not go anywhere. So the best thing for you to do is just to go out there, run around, get the 300,000 Naira. Once you make the deposit, we'll commence treatment. Because Please, and even if you want to make any payment, it's not here. Go to the accounts department and make the payment. Please. Doctor, please, let me appeal to you. I'm a very hardworking young man. I know, okay. I know. I will get this money, okay? I will go back to the street. Now, nah, Wiley, I love this girl. I don't want anything to happen. Just start with this one. Come back, I will get more. Okay, do you want them to sack me? I know you wouldn't want that. So please, just, please. Uh, take this in away, please. Take, take, take this in away, please. Take it away. I've been too patient with you. Please! Not your problem. Oh yes, I know. Oh yes, I know. My cross is not your cross. Oh yes, I know. Man, I'm a bad boy, bad boy. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I won't want my love, yeah, but I said I won't want my love, yeah, but I'm with you. I won't want to go. I won't want to go. I met your daughter one mile on my way home and she told me point blood that she can marry me whereas you told me that you spoke to her and she responded positively that's robbery you robbed me of my emotions and you know what that means uh, my prince I'm very sorry I'm sorry if she had said such a thing to you but what you, hey, you don't have to worry. You and I know that 300,000 naira is nothing compared to me. A multi-millionaire. A king in the waiting. Especially when it concerns the woman that I love so much. I mean, I must have to do something. But you see, considering your numerous disappointments in the past, I will have to tread with caution. I will help your daughter and one man. But on one condition. My prince, I am willing to do anything you require of me. I am willing. Okay, beautiful. We have to agree that your daughter Wama marries me immediately she recovers. My prince, the condition is accepted. You are my prince and my future son-in-law. Why, why, what are we talking about again? <laughs> Don't be in a hurry. Well, since we've agreed, we have to back it up with written and signed agreement. My prince, if that is your desire, so shall it be. Beautiful. Get my father. Ah. 
Hey. Just three days. Three days left. Just three days. What, what do I do now? Where do I get this money from? What do I do? I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing I know is that today you will operate on my girlfriend, my fiance, today. In fact, now. I hope you know the implication of what you're doing. Hello. That is not your business. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's my business, not yours, okay? You listen to me. Or you, in fact, you died. Is it, take it is, is this, I'll listen to you. Uh, move now. Like you? Huh? Yes! I'm a 
country like you, okay? I said, no job. I've tricked the whole of this town everywhere. No job. I'm not even going to get, get anything to do. I've done all sorts of million jobs. I'm not, finally, I settled for one thing. One thing. Go ahead. I want that. And you're telling me this thing. When people come to this same hospital, they pay millions and you treat them. Why can't you take from there? Small money from there. Treat people who, who are less people than poor. Why? Honestly, I pity the less privileged. I pity the poor who cannot get help in this country. I pity my poor one man. Honestly, I also pity, pity you. I understand how you are feeling, but the way you are going about this thing is criminal, you know that? You and I know the weight of what you are doing. You know, you, I, I, don't see, I don't know how you can get out of that. No, I don't care, okay? That's not your problem. It's like, problem. you all need to do this thing. What do you think about your work? Do you need my help? Take. Do you need this thing? No, no, no. It's okay. I have it. I have it already. Just keep oh, it. I'll just be, okay. be doing something. What a good boy. Attention everyone! The entire building will be surrounded by the police. All visitors are advised to come out with their hands up. I repeat, your hands up! I repeat, your hands up! Please. Do as they said and I will help you. No. Not until she's saved. Not until you're done with this surgery, okay? Keep working. I will complete this operation. You don't have any problem. Comply with what they said, please. We are already on the list of people. Don't take this in the theater. You are led by all there to come out with your hands up. And drop your weapons! I repeat, your ass up! I repeat, your ass up! And drop your weapons! Oh, BDK, please. If the police come in here, they will shoot you. Look at your one. And there are many out there. I understand that you are fighting a just cause, but you are going about it the wrong way. Please, just do it and I will be done with this operation. I will complete it, don't worry. You know what? The one that actually touched me most was when you said that you were a graduate. Please, drop this weapon. Go there. I will take care of your, maybe your wife-to-be. Please. Huh? Thank God the operation was a huge success, you know, and all the bills paid. It's not easy. So by his grace, within the next um, three weeks, she'll be out of here. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, too. Yes. Uh, but there is one more thing, please. I want us to see how we can get the young man out from police custody. Please. I know, no, please, I'm not ordering you, I'm just trying to beg you. Considering the sacrifice that he made, not everybody would have made that. I call it supreme sacrifice. Please. It's all right, doctor. We will see what we can do. However, he should have considered the implication of his actions before taking such a deadly step. I know, I know, I understand you. But let us not 
begin to apportion blames right now. You understand that? Let today mark at the end of yesterday and beginning of tomorrow. You know this of nowadays how they behave. Biko, just consider him. You understand, Doga, please. <sighs> Noted. Noted. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um I can't thank you enough for your kindness. May God bless you, my prince. Hmm? Don't bother, don't bother now. You see, whatever I do for this family, I do it for myself. Uh, and I do it for my lovely bride to be in my. So you don't have to worry, all right? Hey, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you so much, my prince. Hey, this is getting too much now. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry, I know you're lacking some things in this house. Just use it to buy them, okay? Hey. Thank you, my dear. And my love. Thank you. I know you've been needing mm. lady stuff, pico juice, and some other things you need to buy. Just hold this for yourself. You know. uh, my prince, thanks so much. You've done enough already. I can't take the money. Baby, don't worry. I'm giving to you, all right? Have it. It's no. Not Thank you. Uh, don't mind her. <laughs> I will keep it for her. Oh. <laughs> I will keep it for her. You know she's shy. <laughs> oh. Okay. So in that case, I have to be on my way. You know? All right. I have a lot of things to attend to. I'll come in there after tomorrow to see you guys and know how she's faring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I appreciate everything. My love, don't forget to take your drugs, all right? And be good. No Be good. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh, take care. Oh, uh, take care. Uh, take care. Uh. Why did you think you were now? You're not supposed to think now. Hmm. I can't believe Obidike did not even bother to come and visit me all this while at the hospital. Don't mind that fool. He came home. He came a few times at that initial stage. But the moment he heard about the money for the oppression, he disappeared. It's <gasps> unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I told you that that gentleman is not what you think he is. Ah. Mm. How could he be so wicked to me? How could he? Ah. I thought he loved me. Oh. I'm not shocked, my dear. I'm not shocked about that. I knew he had been pretending. I knew. I told you, but you wouldn't believe. Maybe he was waiting to hear that you are dead, so that he can come and sympathize with me. God forbid. Ah. It's not my portion. It is not your portion, my dear. It's not your portion. Till God says so. Well, thank God for the prince that you are alive today. It's because of his goodness. Yeah. May the Lord bless him. May the Lord reward him. Mm. I told you. I told you that he's a nice man. But you wouldn't believe me. The only thing I know is that God will definitely punish you Bidike, wherever he is. Ah. He will. And yeah, just don't bother yourself with that now. Don't bother yourself. My main concern now is your recovery. Finish. Hmm? Just recover. Yeah? Bidike. This is so amazing. Just recover. That is it. Recover. Hmm? Just recover fully. My love, why did you abandon me when I needed you most? Why? Why did you betray our love and trust? Why did you break the vow? Why? 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 I thought as much. I thought as much. You have remained like this for days now. And I know it is all about him. Mama, why are you torturing yourself emotionally for someone who feels nothing for you? Why? 
forget him completely. Forget him, he, 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 he does not deserve your tears. Forget him and sleep. Sleep, my dear, it is late. Okay. It's all right, Father, thank you. It is you. late. Hmm? Thank you. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Anya na ko ilo jene lega hiya na. Why? Why? Hey, my prince. Welcome. Uh, let me let me bring seat. Eh? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, are you going to stand all through? Don't worry. I'm I'm fine here. Ah, uh, hey. I'm fine. Hey, more are coming. Oh, friends, thank you very much. Hey. God will bless you, eh? Hey. God will bless you and multiply your wealth hey. hundredfold. He say, he say. Mama, you see? <laughs> you see? Hey. You see, these things are nothing to be compared to where it's coming from. All I'm asking for is one man here to say yes to me. And more of this will be added to your doorsteps. Um, my prince, all I'm asking is just a little time for me to properly think about it. Hey, mama, my daughter, there's nothing to think about. You see, I know you girls always play this prank. And give me some time now to think about it. But the prince is not the kind of man you tell that. He's not. He's a special person. He, 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 there's no man you, that you will come across that will look like him. In fact, if he's your husband, it is a blessing. It's an honor. Talk to him. Uh, Father, I know all that. But like I said, I need some time to think about it. It's okay. It's, it's okay, Papa. If, if, if she wants to think about it, it's no big deal. Let her think about it. But just make sure you won't think for the whole year. We don't have time, all right? It's all right. Thank you so much, my prince. And I hope you're fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, we have to be on our way. All right? Father. Yes. It's not like I want to disobey you or that I don't like Prince Andrew. But the truth is, I have a bond with Ubidiki. My body and soul revolves around him and I can't let go. I love him so much. And there's no other space for any other person in my heart. Listen, Wama. I forbid you to mention that cursed name in this house again. Would you compare the prince who was there throughout for you, who paid all the hospital bills and gave life back to you when you were at, 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 at the fact of losing it to a vagabond who abandoned you because of money? You compare them? No. No, my dear. You don't have to. It's all right, Father. I will accept his proposal if that will make you happy. You will? Yes. That's my daughter. <laughs> Thank you very much. See, it will be fine. And you will see it. It will be fine. My prince, so she finally agreed. Yeah, uh, she finally said yes, after being stubborn. She said yes to me with a hug and a huge peck on my cheek. I can't believe it, uncle. <laughs> this goes to demonstrate the fact that money answered all things. You can say that again, uncle. <laughs> Who in her shoes wouldn't say yes when you paid all her hospital bills? And since then, you've been practically catering for all of them. Above all, you are the next king of this kingdom, so? Uh, no, Uncle. Uncle, I give you all the credit. That agreement form you talked about took them off balance. You're just a wise uncle. I'm impressed. <laughs> My prince, I want you to know something. A man that is desperate will go all out to do anything without minding the consequences. My happiness is that my prince has finally found a woman and I will be crowned 
the next king of this kingdom. Oh, Uncle, not only being crowned the next king of this kingdom, I will be crowned with my dream girl. That's a dream come true. That is true. That is true. Uncle, I am seriously very, very happy. Go get yourself prepared. Let me take you to you. You join. This calls for celebration. I can't wait, my prince. <laughs> but we are not even done with this one here. Um, I really don't want to do this one. I want to go to your oh, joint with you, Azali. I'll be with you in a minute, Azali. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry I was unable to visit. Since six days you returned from the hospital, I went to my maternal home to see my grandmother. It's all right, dear. I understand. I'm happy you're well now. My dear, glory be to God. If not for his sake, maybe by now I would have been in the grave. Hey, God forbid. It's not your portion. Man, no. So, what about Obidike? Obidike. Have you gone to see him? Obidike? Yes. Who is Obidike? Ah, please forget that animal. <laughs> Which Obidike are you talking about? Obidike abandoned me in the hospital because of the bill. I can't believe you're talking about the same Obidike who sacrificed his life for you while you were in the hospital in this manner. Okay, it's not true. Obidike is not what we think he is. He's a green snake in green grass. No, no, no. That's... Yes, very mean and wicked. No, don't pretend you don't know. Obidike went to the hospital to harass the hospital staff, even held the doctor hostage with his hunting gun, insisting they should carry on the operation on you before he was arrested. Huh? Yes, I should be the one asking you. I don't understand. Come on, did your father tell you what happened? My father told me he abandoned me in the hospital because of the hospital bill. Oh, that is wickedness. How could he lie against such a committed man who sacrificed his life for his daughter? No. My father didn't tell me that. He did not. That's... The only thing he said to me was that he abandoned me in the hospital because of the bill. Now you know the truth. You must try and see him. You know he's an orphan. He has no place to go since your father abandoned him at the police custody. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. This is unbelievable. <sighs> How could you lie to me? How could you be so callous to a man who made such great sacrifice to save your daughter? How could you? Come. Did anyone force him to go and threaten the doctor with a gun? Did anyone? Oh, is that what you call sacrifice? What type of sacrifice is that? Is it a John Kobe conquer altar? Well, he called for it and he got it. So let him face it. Father, now I know that you're not only selfish, but also heartless, mean, wicked. What I can Mind what you say. Don't forget you are talking to your father. I doubt if you're truly my father. A man with a heart of stone can never be my father. I know the definition of a father, and you are not one. How could you abandon a man who did such thing to save your own daughter? How could you? Instead of you to look for a way to bring him out of the jail, here you are, trying to sell me off to another man. What kind of a man does that? What kind of a father does that? Thank you for everything, father. Thank you for lying to me. But now let me make this clear and straight. I hereby terminate my acceptance to Prince's proposal. Yes. I, Mama, will not marry him. I will go back to where my heart belongs. Yes. And I will make sure I fight with the last drop of my blood to bring him out of that jail. You. Hey, you lie. You lie. You lie. You must marry the prince. I will and that is F I M A L. Final. It's a lie, Father. I will not marry the prince. I won't marry him. I don't love the prince. I love Obi I won't. Let me make this clear. If you so much love the prince, give back to another daughter and give her to him for me. It is not possible. Watch me. <laughs> you don't know what you are saying, my daughter. You don't know what you are saying. I am so sorry you're suffering this way because of me. I am sorry. Obim, tell me, why do you have to do it? Why? <clears throat> it's actually not your fault. I did it for love. 
Thank you so much. Forgive my father for his wickedness towards you. Please. It's okay. Um, you must understand that what we have between us is true love. And true love will always suffer all sorts. So, your father's behavior towards us is just part of what we have to go through if we must sustain this relationship. Okay? So, we just have to make sure we don't get weaker, not stronger. Well, that is by the way. I'm glad you're out. Okay? You're fine. The surgery was okay. That is why I did what I did. Thank you so much. That's why I took the risk. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, babe. When my father told me you were about to me at the hospital, I felt bad. I was heartbroken. Yes, I felt jilted and I... I did something. No, I can't. How am I supposed to tell him that I said yes to Princess Proposal? It would break his heart. Not in his present condition. Not here. Not now. Uh -huh. you, you, you did what? I, I, I said I almost forgot about you. Yes. Just that? Yes. I won't blame you, it's not your fault. Anybody who's been fed with so much lies will feel the same way. It's alright. I'll get you out of here. I promise. <laughs> How? <laughs> my case is hopeless. That's the truth. And I've come to accept my fate. I don't think anybody can bring me out of here. The doctor tried a couple of times. He was coming. After a while, I think he realized that my case is... He can't do anything. He stopped coming. So, I brought it upon myself. I will remain here. Okay? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You won't. Don't worry. We'll save a living God. With him, we will conquer. Mm -hmm. Thanks for all you've done for me. Thank you. Hi, Bob. I missed you too. Oh, yeah. Who? Thank God who has been sustaining us. Oh, please this. spare me that. I, I hope she's in. Yeah, yes, yes, she's inside. Okay, come. Mama, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see the place go. 
con me Mom, I've been calling you. What happened? Um, sorry, I was not really in the mood to pick my calls. You weren't in the mood to take calls. Prince, let me be frank with you. I don't think I can still go on with this marriage of a thing. I can't. Yes. Mama. I can't. Ma, can you imagine that? Can you imagine the rubbish that she's saying? Do you know the meaning of what you're saying? Not after all my kingsmen and the council of elders are already involved in our management. And she's just saying rubbish. Uh, uh, my prince, please, please calm down. One man actually is joking. Please. She, 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 she should be joking. Now, one man, I want you to apologize to the prince and your husband to be... Uh, your husband right now. Please, do that. Quickly. Papa, what difference does that make? It doesn't make any difference, yes, because that would make me change my mind. But if that's what you want, no problem. My prince, I am so, so, so sorry for everything. Please forgive me. This is okay, just come here. But the truth is, I can't. I can't marry you. I am no longer interested in this marriage. I'll be married. I can't stand this embarrassment. What, can you imagine that embarrassment? Can you imagine that? I'm taking my leave. If you talk some sense into your daughter's head, you let me know. Just talk to her. Mama. Mama. Hey, I said get out. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the rubbish that you said? That she's no longer interested? What an insult to my personality! My prince, the worst has happened. That was really an insult. I wonder what gave her the effrontery. This is an insubordination to royalty. Now listen to me, my prince. Enough is enough. It is high time you forgot about this girl. Because we have better girls in this land who will appreciate you for who you are. That is the point here. I don't want a woman who will run to me with open arms and accept me for what I am. I want a real woman. A woman that would love me from the depth of her heart and not blinded by materialism. A woman that cannot be easily bended. A real Jane. And one man is true definition of all that. You know that, uncle. I must marry one man, no matter what it takes. And you said you were going to help me, uncle. That was your promise. Fulfill it. Fulfill it. It's okay, my prince. If you insist. So what do you want me to do? Oh, come on, uncle. I, I should be asking you that. You have to think. Something has to be done. It's okay. Young lady, this is a serious case. Coming here every day won't help anything because the matter is beyond my table. But I must tell you, you have to look for somebody who is influential and financially capable. And whatever thing you are going to do, you have to act fast before they transfer the matter to court. Yes. My Prince, we have waited patiently for you to give us a bride to be crowned with you as our Lolo since the mourning period of your father, our late king, ended. But so far, you have given us one excuse or the other for the delay. And uh, as custodians of our culture and tradition, uh, we are deeply disturbed. Yes. And our patience is running. Uh, so, we have therefore decided to give you just two weeks. Two weeks to give us a bride. 
Otherwise, we have no other choice than to provide you with one. My prince. Ah, uh, I, I really appreciate, I mean, your, your involvement in this matter. I really do appreciate. But I want you people to give me time. I'll bring my bride pretty soon. I'm working on it already. Oh, uh, my elders. That is true. Very soon. Very soon? Very soon. Uh, uh, soon. Exactly. Very soon. My son, the elders are right. The reputable throne of this kingdom should not be neglected simply because of your emotional lust. See, forget that girl. Forget her completely and get married to another woman. After all, there are thousands and millions of beautiful damsels treading on the surface of the earth. Choose one out of them and get married to. If, but if you cannot, I, your mother, will help you. Uh, Mom, I really do understand how you feel. But I just want you to give me a little more time. And I will bring your daughter-in-law here in this house. You know, we don't have to be pushing all these things. It involves this kingdom. So we won't make mistakes. Please, Mama, give me more time. Biko. How long, son? For how long am I going to wait? Mom, just a little more time, all right? Hmm? Nene. Okay. Ah, you work. I hope all is well. How can all be well when your daughter is toying with the prestigious prince of our land? She is practically playing him like a football in a child's feet. But let me tell you this. When a child kicks a heavy stone in the place of football, not only will they have his toes bruised, but it will also bring afflictions to the hearts of his parents. Let me tell you this. Iweka, hmm. if I tell you that I'm not confused, I will be lying. I, I, I do not know what came over my daughter. Mama, she is, she is, she is becoming unusual. I don't know why. Don't tell me that. You can tell that to the beds. I, are you telling me that you cannot call your daughter, that your little daughter to order? Is that what you're telling me? So now, whose decision do we take in the house? Is it that of the fathers or, or the daughter? Let me tell you, you are giving me the impression that you are not capable of, of taking care of your family, most especially that your daughter. It is not that one. It is not. You see, you see the, the point is that I will convince her. I will convince her. But please, help me to plead with Andrew to give me a little more time. I will not fail him again. Listen to me. Whatever it is that you are doing to convince her, you had better be fast. Because as I talk to you now, the prince is running out of patience. Unless you want to refund all the money that he had spent on you and your family. Yes, it will interest you to know, the prince is already threatening to make you feel his rot if you fail him. You know, between you and I, you know that you cannot afford even a penny. Talk more of a huge amount of money like that. Can you refund it? Can you? See, you see, Anoshi, you don't know how grievous it could be to play with the tail of a cobra. You don't know. Because if you do, by now, you and your daughter would have known that you are playing with a consuming fire. No wonder they say that a, a stitch in time saves nine. But be warned. Yes. Uh, Iweka. What is it? Yeah. What yeah. is it? Yeah. Weka, you are Andrew's uncle. Yes. You are his mentor. Yes. And he listens to you. And, and so what? Weka, please. 
I am begging you in the name of our ancestors. Eh? Help me beg Andrew to please give me small time. Use your powers to suppress his anger. I will not disappoint him this time. Honestly, the earlier the better. The earlier the better. And when the calamity of the consequences of this your inaction will begin to fall upon you like rain, do not say that I did not warn you. Do not say that I did not warn you. Listen, Wama. I cannot condone your stubbornness anymore. See, it is either you obey my rules and regulations and stay in my house or you leave. You can't put me into trouble. Father, what is all this? What is all this? Why are you treating me like this? Why do you wish to kill my joy? Why? What is my crime? Did you say joy? No. What is your joy? Tell me. Oh, your joy is to marry this wretched idiot. This one, I, I, I'm not even sure will make it alive out of jail. Is that your joy? Now listen, I have made my final decision. You either stay here and obey me or you leave and I'll disown you. Simple. Father, you would do no such thing because I've not done anything wrong to you. Eh? I've not done anything wrong to you. Allow me to follow my heart now. Eh? What is all these things? Father, what are you doing? Father, what are you doing? Hey. Father, why are you doing this to me? What is my crime? What have I done wrong now? Why are you locking me outside? What is all this now? Hey. I don't love the prince. I don't. I don't marry the prince. I don't love him. I am so confused. I am so confused right now. I don't know what else to do to get him out of that place. Okay, the truth is that he's suffering so much. He's suffering. No, oh, I pity him. But, Mama, I only know of one person who can be of help. You know someone? Yes, yes. The prince. He's the most influential and the richest in this our town. His intervention will make a difference. Okay, why are you talking like this? Why would you suggest him of all people? Don't you know what is going on between the prince and I? Why would you say things like that? Mama, you are my friend. You are my good friend. I can't lie to you. I know, I understand you love Obidike. But if it means you dancing to the tune of the prince, it's okay. Eh? God forbid. I, Mama, will not do a thing like that. I won't. I can't. There are things you can change. Hmm? The only chance is here. Or do you rather have Obidike rot in jail? And you live your life endlessly in guilt? Eh? Hmm? Welcome to my palace, darling. Thank you, my prince. Get a drink. What are they going to offer you? Mm -hmm. Thank you, my prince. I'm okay. I don't want anything. <laughs> you don't have to say that. All right? We have the best of wines in here from Spain, England, name it. Okay? Just say it. They, they will bring you. Thank you so much, my prince. Okay. I don't want anything. Well, if you insist, I was very happy when you called and you said you wanted to see me. I guess today is my lucky day. Um, yes. I... I... I don't know how to say this, but I wanted to talk to you about something very important. Okay, so what could that be? My, my prince. It is about, about Obidike. 
OBDK. Who the hell is OBDK? OBDK, uh, OBDK, he's the man um, I'm in love with. Oh! <laughs> OBDK, the madman. Do you know him? Of course, I, I know that stupid fool who went to the hospital with a dingo. I mean, he's popular for his stupidity. I know the fool. So, what about him? My prince, please. I, I, I beg of you. He's been in detention for so long now. He's suffering so much there, please. I know you're a very nice person. Of course I am. I, you know he's an orphan. He doesn't have anyone to help him. So I want you to help me get him out of the police custody. Can you shut up? What? Have you lost your manners? Are you out of your senses? You want me to get him out of police custody? I thought you were here to, 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 to say something positive. Are you a fool? You, you, you want me to get the same man who has been thwarting the relationship between me and you? Are you out of your senses? The same man that is my rival. Isn't that hilarious? My prince, I'm so sorry. Forgive Can me. Can you shut up? My prince, forgive me. I didn't mean to upset you. Please, I mean no disregard. Please, my prince. But I know you're a nice person. Right? Of course I am a nice man. Do you want him to die dead? You've always said you love me so much, and this is the only thing I want you to do for me. Just you stop sounding like a fool. I'm, I'm sorry, please. Just sit down. Get your ass here. Thank you, my prince. You want me to get him out of police custody, right? Yes, my prince. Good. I am going to do it, but on one condition. Uh, my prince, what could that be? That you leave him and marry me. <laughs> my prince, my prince, the truth is I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, to, to strike a deal with you. Eh, I just want to plead to your conscience. I thought you said you, you wanted him out of prison. I, I thought you said you don't want him to die in there. Eh? Why can't you allow that pooper leave? Why can't you let that pooper go? I am giving you a lifetime opportunity and you're calling it off? Mama, can't you see that I love you? Can't you see the comfort that will be yours when you say yes? I am giving you the last opportunity and you have to think about it. My prince, I'm sorry. I can't strike a deal with you. I can't. When you make up your mind, you call me. Show her the door. Nonsense. You are set to call off whatever relationship you have with her. And I'll affect your freedom with a snap of my finger. That you know I can do as the honorable prince of this land. But if you decide to play soft on it like rejecting my offer, that I can assure you with the gravity of crime you committed. You know what you did? This is your life that we are talking about. We are talking about your life and you're talking about love. Okay, fine, so be it. Have a nice day, my prince. 
Obeliki, can you stop being stubborn for once? Your stubbornness kept you here, and you're still being stubborn. Well, I think I will be a little more lenient with you in case if you decide to change your mind. But let me remind you, in case if you have forgotten, Obidiki, you went into a hospital with a dang gun that has no license. That's a big crime in this country. Think about this. Think about this before putting yourself in further trouble. I'm here to help you. In case if you change your mind, let me know. I'm available. The IPO said he's willing to make the case worse and even more difficult against you. If you don't accept. Obi, you can't continue like this. You can't. If you go to jail, I will die. I can't even stand it for one second. Please. We've already sacrificed so much for us to be together. If you make this one more sacrifice, it, it won't kill you. Please. I beg of you. Just accept. Hmm? Over my dead body. I'd rather die here than accept. Then you'd rather have me die first. I'd rather die first because I can't stand it anymore. You know, that really, you're suffering so much in here. Please. Please. Let's do this. Please. Then you'll marry him. Yes, I will. But my body will be with him, but my soul will be with you forever. You know, I love you so much, please. I want your body and your soul. Everything complete. Don't give it to another man. No. Please, I want you to. But with the way things are going, we are left with no other option. Please. My father is pressurizing me. I can't stand it anymore. And you're suffering so much in here. Please, Obi. If you go to jail, I will die. I won't survive it. Please. You've already sacrificed much. This one more sacrifice won't kill you. I'm up. I came to say I'm sorry. I wish I had a choice. <clears throat> I don't know what you are sorry for. Honestly. You insisted I take the offer, right? He takes you and then he'll bail me. I come out of prison. He has taken you now. Come out. I will forever love you. Those words don't mean anything to me anymore. You belong to him now. It's alright. But please, can I come to see you sometimes? No, you cannot come to see me. I do not want to see you. Please. This is where we say goodbye. to your husband. It's you I love. Yes. Gentle, gentle. Gentle, gentle. If I get it, yeah, I get it, 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 
I tell you my love, love, I want to my darling, my darling, want to be. What can I go do to collect the love? What can I go do to see my love? My love will be beautiful. My love will handsome. Love will be. If you don't know, you can't give me. If I get it, yeah, man, I can't get it, and you have to go now. If I have to go, oh, 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 very dangerous. I want to go and give to that man that you want to marry. You want to know him. If I have to go, oh, 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 very dangerous. I want to go, yeah, he's a waka kai kai, and he's in my heart. You demand a meeting, Bonnie Bow. I tell them what love is, love is a man. Then what you have, what you go for, Mac. Then what you have, what you go for, Mac. He got no love, 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 Zembe, zembe, zembe. blessed already. Our ancestors have granted this union. You will have children. You will train your children. Your children will train you. And you will rule this community. You will rule them well. You will even do better than your father did. Oh no. I have helped it. Thank you. At last. Hello. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. 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 If I get it, yeah, man, I can't get it, and you have to go now. If I put a woe, very dangerous, I won't want to go. Yeah, he's a woe, kai kai, and he's in the house. You do the murder of me, to me, and you go, woe, 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 woe. I tell you my love, my love, my love, my love, my love, my love. 
to my darling, my darling, what to me? What can I go do to collect the love? What can I go do to see my love? My love will be beautiful. My love will have so much love. Baby, what is it? You're not eating your food. I am. Sweetie, why are you acting this cold on me? You've been like this ever since we returned from our traditional marriage. I'm your husband. If there's a problem, you share with me. That's why we are one. There's no problem. Okay, maybe you don't like... I said I am fine. What's wrong with you? Please, give me a break, please. Come on, honey, don't be stiff on me. You insisted that we we'll won't make love until after our traditional marriage, and we just did it today. Why are you acting stiff on me? Am I not your husband? Come on, hey, please. Hey, stop! I am tired. I am. I can't make love now. Baby, you don't have to be a killjoy. This is our day. Listen, you... Stop! What is wrong with you? It's obvious you can't control your feelings. Let me go to the sitting room. Okay. Hey, hey, enough. I'm your husband for crying. I don't care. You can get your ass up here. I'm your husband. I can't. I said I'm tired. What is all this? Get your ass up here. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> this girl is going mad. Just acting funny. Me, the prince? Are you aware that the doctor said that our late prince, Prince Andrew, died from food poisoning? Yes or no? 
I was at the hospital when the autopsy result came out. Adima, can you explain this? That the same night that he had his traditional wedding with you, he died strangely from food poisoning. Explain that. I don't know how to explain this anymore. Like I did earlier. I prepared a dinner for us that night. We ate together. After eating, we went to bed. But let me be very frank with all of you. He tried to touch me, yes. But I was not in the mood. So I left the room and came down here. I lied on that couch. When I went back to our room the next morning, I found him dead with phones all over his mouth. And, and we are here listening to this rubbish. Do you hear that? Unbelievable. Oh, chilly, chilly. Uh, one man. Did the late prince eat the food you prepared that night? Yes, we ate together. <laughs> oh, man. Young lady, don't joke with me. Tell us the truth and stop, stop pretending to be bereaved. Speak up! No, what are you insinuating? That I killed him? How can I kill my own husband? I can't. What will I gain in that? I did not kill him. We ate the food together. Now would you stop all these lies and those crocodile tears before I explode in rot? What we want is the truth and not in body truth. Yes. Tell us, why did you kill the prince a day before your own coronation as the king and the next lord of this kingdom? Why did you do that? I did not kill him. I did not kill the prince. Oh, it is obvious you want it the hard way. And that we will give to you. I knew that you never liked the prince from the beginning. So his life never meant anything to you. But you are going to regret your action. I promise you that. Mama. Tell me. Do you have a hand in the death of our prince? No. Eh, 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 I know, I know you never liked him, but to kill him is what I, 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 I will not support. He just tell me the truth. Did you kill him? So that I will know how to handle the issue. You see, there is death hovering around everybody's head. So tell me. Father, I did not kill the prince. I did not. I can barely hurt a fly. I did not kill him. I did not. All right. You see, this is very complicated. Because everybody will still ask the same question. If you did not kill him, how then did he die of food poisoning after eating the meal you prepared? Father, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? I did not kill him. I did not poison his food. Hey. Ah, God of my ancestors, what have I done? What have I done to deserve all this? <sighs> See, Ma, I brought you out here because this place is very quiet and, and uh, we are alone, nobody will see us. And because of the situation at hand, eh, there is trouble. You know that. You can see, can you? Tell me the truth. Did you kill him? No, I didn't. Are you sure? I am certain I didn't kill him. You have to believe me. I did not kill him, I don't even know what happened to him. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. I believe you and I trust you. I believe that with time, very soon, the whole world will get to know that. Of course. You, you and are at innocent. that time, my father will be so ashamed.
Yeah, you're right. You have to go no, now. No, wait, 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 wait. There's, there's one more thing. There's a problem. Problem? Yes. Not again. Um. What is? I'm pregnant. Huh? Yes. Pregnant? Yes. Pregnant? For, for, for who? For you! Yes. For me? Yes, it's for you. Shh! Don't say this thing there's somebody here. Can it be for me? Are you sure it's not for the prince? No, it's not for the prince. He has never seen my nakedness. I never allowed him to lay a finger on me. He has never touched me. I'm telling you the truth, you're responsible. Ma, you have never lied to me. I am not lying. Or do you her? Emeka, listen to me. I, I know why I am asking you this question for the opt-in's time. Are you very sure of what you just said that you heard? Are you sure? No, I am very sure. I am very sure. I am 100% sure. Emeka, can you repeat this before the Council of Elders? Can you? No. If you want us to go now, I am ready. Anytime. Good. I'm very good. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Hey, Becca, take this. Take this. Mm. Uh, uh, listen to me. I'll get back to you if the need arises, okay? No problem. Uh, for now, you can go. But now, from today, I'm your information minister. Oh, good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. This young man just saved me. Hi. Hi. My elders, mm -hmm. I called you here today because what my ears have heard is something that is too heavy for only me. Hey. Emeka? Yes, Nai. Can you repeat what you told me the other day? Elders of Amugu, I greet you. Mm -hmm. The other day I went to the bush to ease myself. I saw one man discussing secretly with Obidike. Uh, what did they say? One man here told Obidike that she is pregnant for him. When Obidike asked if she was sure that the pregnancy was not for our late prince, she said no. Huh? That she never allowed the prince to see her nakedness till death. Hmm. Obidike. Mama. Is it true? Answer me! It's true, Nai. Hey! Hello. My elders, the truth has come to limelight. Mm -hmm. In case you did not know, Obidike and Uwama have been lovers long before the prince married her. Mm. She never liked him not to talk of loving him. She only married him so that the two of them can carry out their evil plot of conspiring to kill the prince on the day of their marriage. Mm. Huh? Yes. So that you can embezzle the real treasures. Look me in the eyes and deny it. Look me in the eyes and deny it. My elders, have I spoken your minds? Mind. You've spoken very well. Yeah, you have, yeah. It's unheard of. Unheard of that a woman in mourning should be pregnant for another man. Oh. It's an abomination. A taboo. A taboo that our gods frown at. And anyone found guilty of this serious offense. <laughs> and now, OBDK, tell me it is not true. Um, my elders, I will not deny the fact that one man is pregnant for me. What? Mother? No. I did not kill the prince. I know nothing about his death. One man here did not kill the prince. And she knows nothing about his death. 
here. Yes, my elders. I'm innocent. What else? What else do we want again? She's pregnant for him. Hmm. We shall soon find out. If two of you are guilty of this crime, then I did not remind you of the consequences. Yes. OBDK. Oh, Mama. If. If. And if. Adima. We shall soon find out. Why are you doing this to me, Wamma? Why? Why? You, 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 you have decided to bring not only shame to me, but heartbreak, sorrow. What have I done to you? Eh? What have I done to you? Did I not warn you about this opportunity of a man? What have I done so wrong that my own father is also crucifying me? What? Father, tell me, what is wrong in bearing the seed of a man that I love so much? What is wrong in that? Who? Hmm. The seed of the man that you love so much. The seed that will make you appear guilty. Do you know what it means for a woman in mourning to bear the seed of another man in her womb? I'm not even talking about somebody mourning a great one like our prince. Can you see what it has cost you? Father, the truth is I don't care what anyone believes anymore. Yes, only God knows the truth. And only God is my witness. I'm going back to my room. Yay! Why is all this happening to me? Why? What is my crime? I feel like giving up on life. This is too much for me. It's too much. This is too okay. much. Too much know, for me. I know. Don't think like this. Don't think like this. I believe we will conquer. Okay? It's just tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow our innocence will be proven to the whole world. You think so? I know so. Okay. I love you so much. I love you too. I cannot move your killer very can I want. You want to move your killer very can I want your move. Oh, no, John, why I'm with that John. Oh, can it just another over the road? Oh, darling, oh, John, no, pa. Not a no good bullet was in a good talk and as in a good and a good clerk or two of one also. Oh, what will it be? One mother will also loon. So, what are our river? Let Jack will all go. Turn up. Oh, good. It's a merciful God. But no, no mercy against any evil deed. Confess now, if you are guilty, that you may exonerate yourself from the wrath of Ogunjic. Or else, you will swear the earth and face the consequence. Ogunjic, I am innocent. Ogunjic, I am innocent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I am the eyes in which you see. I am the ear in which you hear. Okay, Mongo, let me win. Oh, go for Nukwano. Oh, yes, now probably I'm making it. Step in, both of you. Two weeks from now, if you are innocent, we shall say you will go free. But if you are not innocent, if you are guilty, you face the wrath of Ogunjinji. The wrath of Ogunjinji. 
will be too hard for any man to carry. Hey! All work on Elu. Okay, mom, we're two weeks. Two weeks. Hey, eh? she's not even ashamed of herself. Look at her. She's not even ashamed to come out in this village with this curse in her womb. Eh? But to go to you, what marvels me is the fact that they weren't even afraid to take the oath. What's minding the implications? There. Even when they were given the fair option to confess so that the womb did will release them from their punishment. Tell me, Ada, how will they confess? Eh? When they were blinded by their sins, how would they confess? Indeed, indeed, my sister. Well, in three days' time, their sins will cut up with them. Ada, you can never imagine. You can never imagine what will happen to these people. I overheard my father discussing with a chain queen. It's a terrible consequence when Ogunjinji finds one guilty of such despicable acts. Hey, hey. You can never imagine. Hey. What did they tell you what happened to them? Here, on our dizzy. You will wait till it's meant to be a secret between you and I. Three days' time, you will see with your own eyes. Koro Koro. Sevoji. Tell me, I'm not friend. Hold your greetings to yourself, you evil boy. Ah. What have I done to deserve this insult, man? Oh, you are asking me what you have done. Have you not done enough by swearing to ruin the life of my daughter? Is that not enough? Nay, I want you to understand that I love your daughter so much. <laughs> so much. And all I want is the best for her. That's all. Love on your child. Oh, the best to put her in the family way in such a shameful way and put it, put, putting her safety online in the presence of Obunjiji. Now listen to me. Leave my daughter alone. Stay clear of my daughter or you have me to face. Who knows? Perhaps you killed her husband so as to get close to her. But don't worry. Very, very soon, everything will be made open and the wrath of Obunjiji will fall on you. Then the whole of this community would know that you single-handedly killed Andrew. While my daughter will be exonerated. Just wait. Just wait. No problem. Since you believe I'm guilty, fine. Let Ogunjiji be the judge. Ah. Just three days. Good. Three days. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see you groan. Groan. Groan in pain. And then become food for the vultures. I can't wait to see that. I can't wait. You. The gods will prove you wrong, my. I got phone. We we will see. You stupid boy. Obim. I'm sure very soon Ogunjinji will prove her innocence. 
and exalts us before our enemies. That time, <laughs> everybody, including my father, will be so ashamed. You have to be strong for me. Of course. So tell me, where that happens, what becomes our fate? Well, um, by then nobody will bother us anymore. We will now wait for the mourning period of the prince to be over. Once that is done, you can now remarry. Mm -hmm. Then I will come to take you legally as my wife. <laughs> it doesn't end there. Under this my roof, you will have my time. Thank you so much, my love. Nothing will be more pleasant. Let me go and make food for you and rush back home. You know how my father behaves. Uh, okay, hmm? mama. <laughs>
What cause and mockery have you brought upon me and yourself? So this is how I have lost my only child. This is how you have ripped my heart apart and made the land of Amoko untreadable for me. My prize and my only pride I lost today. I am still bearing the anguish of the death of my wife and now my only consolation has slipped away from my hands. The gods of my ancestors, where are you that this calamity has befallen me? Where are you? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me.
help me, please. I've been begging you, I can't see with my eyes, I can't see again, please. Oh my God, I can't see with my two eyes, I can't see anymore. I can't see, this is too hard for me. Papa, I can't see with my eyes, oh. Papa, don't see tired. Papa, please do something, please. <laughs> Papa, Papa, please come and help me. Yes, I can see. I don't know how it happened. I don't know. Hey. Hey. What happened to me? Uh, Where are you? I'm here. Hey. Uh, why are you on the ground? What happened? See, I'm not. Oh. What happened? Hey, why ma. are you on the floor? Ma. Ah. Remember. Oh, it's too heavy. It's too large. In between my legs. I don't know what happened. It's too heavy for me. I can't walk. Something just hit me. Next thing that place, that is swelling. Hey, what is our crime? Hey, I mean, what is our crime? I don't know. What is our crime? I can't even see. I, I can't see with my eyes. I can't see. Why? Why? God. Oh God. Oh God. Let's rest here for some time. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 So, I am even tired. Hey, just hold me. I'm here. I'm here. Come. Come back again. Come back. Hey, hey, don't talk. Hey, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Please be careful. Don't sorry. Just go. Sit. Hey, just go back. Go back a little bit and sit. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Hey, God. God of justice. God of justice. Why? Eh? Why now? Look at our condition. Who have we offended to deserve this? Eh? What have we done? What have we done to anybody to deserve? What? Ay. Obin, stop Why now? Lamenting. Stop lamenting this way. I am sure God will vindicate us someday. When? I'm very hungry. I don't know, but... I know God is not asleep, and the only option we have right now is to go and beg. Agu Ebugom, 
Hmm. It's you, I'm very hungry now. In this village, see how they are treating us now. Like outcasts, who will give us anything? I know. Ah. Huh? I'm not talking about this village. Hmm? Let's go to Ameke, our neighboring village. Let's go there and beg. Nobody knows us there. Huh. Maybe they might give us something. Who we'll, we'll get something? Yeah. Uh, let's go there and beg now because I go here, Bukwa Madu. In this condition, see both of us now. Go to neighboring village. Huh. I wish you could see. So you see what I'm carrying. Uh, is it big? It's large. Hey! Oh, Sorry. don't touch. Sorry. We are less bone. Hey, my stomach. Oh. Okay. Hey. I know the pain is much. Oh, the way, oh. Hey, my love, it's not okay. Oh. Honestly, it's not okay. The pain is too much. Believe me, I'm just trying my best. You know, as a man, can they have the pain? Is, is I the pain is terrible. Honestly, hey, God, why now? Why? Why? Why am I suffering like this? Why? Just take my life now. Let me rest. Take my life. Let God me forbid. Go. God me. forbid. Obimbufu, so don't even say that again. Don't you know your life is too precious to me? Don't you know your life is so precious to me? Eh? My love, I don't have a life. Believe me, this thing is not life. It's because you can't see. As me, you could see to see. If we remember, my life, I want of life. Both of you are under a grace spell, whose faith is only a dead end, like an inch of carcass that no amount of essence could stop. Forces of old, powers beyond powers. I fear your fate is doomed. Go home. Go home. 
the cards. Go home! For darkness locks within. Go home! Hey, can't okay. you can't can't you do Please. something? You could not try Please. now. Can't Help you do us. something? Go home. Please go home now. Do something okay. now. Please. Go home. Because There's trouble. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. There's only one remedy to your problem. Ah. Please, what is the remedy? What? Eh? You have to offer seven days calf with horns and the nine days old infant with full grown teeth. Eh? Yeah. That is impossible now. <laughs> hmm. As it seems impossible to you, so is your problem. It's impossible. Now you can leave. Leave. Go. It's a divine assignment from what you have just said. So you must go, but endeavor to come back on schedule. Yes, Father. Okay. May the good Lord lead you in peace. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Go in peace. Papa? Is this really you? Exactly, Papa. Oh, 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 is it a ghost I'm seeing? No, this is me. Hey. Onyedika, your son, Papa. Hey! Good day, Papa. Hey! Onyedika, you, you surprised me. I thought the church had forbidden you from visiting your family. Perhaps you now belong to them alone. No, Papa. The church do not do such things. 
Ah. It is just that I've been very busy in the Lord's vineyard. Okay. But this time around, I said I must come and visit you. Ah. So, how are you, Papa? Uh, well, well, your father is managing. Oh, yeah, the, your father is managing, as you can see. I'm glad you have finally gotten over my mother's death, unlike the last time we met. Hey, that is true, my son. But I don't have a choice. I cannot continue to mourn her for the rest of my life. Good to hear that, Papa. Good to hear that. Uh, Father, let us go inside. I'm glad to have you here. We oh, have a lot to talk about. Papa, you just <laughs> called me Father. Of course, that is what you are, my son. Uh, sorry, Father. That Ex is what exactly, you are. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Anyway, I will still be calling you Papa. Uh, that is okay by me. So come on. Uh, I bought some things for you. They are in the booth. You bought something for me? Exactly. In the booth? Uh, yes, let me just get... I am coming with you. Let's go and take it. <laughs> really? So this is you? Yes. <laughs> Papa, I've heard all you said. I promise to be visiting you more often. That is good. Actually, I'm on my way to Ameke for an assignment. Uh, but you have said that before. What I'm saying is you cannot go just now. Because it's been a long time I saw you last. You just visited. Papa, I have to accomplish my mission. I understand. Hi. I promise I'll be visiting you often. What can I say? That is the Lord's work you are doing. But if I may ask, what exactly are you going there to do? What is the assignment? I'm going there to save souls, Papa. Save souls? Yes, Papa. Hey, I'm hungry. Hey, no wonder. 
If I watch online, Tonjo, be go. Is there anybody here? Please help us. Oh, a better madam, my rugby be go. We've not eaten anything since. Just believe in God. He will heal you from this situation. Huh. Where do you live? Can you take me there? I'll go, Degwa. It's only God can save you from this situation, brother. Just have faith. Believe in God and your problems will be solved. Can we go? Wait, 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 wait. This is where we stay, eh? This place, this is... This is where we live. Yeah. Hi! 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 Hello? Hey! Father! This is it, though. Thank you very much for... at least showing concern, eh? Huh? Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You people are the ones I've traveled this far to see. Uh, what do you mean? Do you, do you know us? Uh, two nights ago, I had a revelation. <laughs> Who are you? I'm afraid, Father. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. How am I supposed to know the couple, Lord? There are many couples in Ameke. That was how I got the vision. Your pathetic condition is not normal, but a spiritual bondage that must be broken. If you believe that, say Amen! 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 amen. On my way coming, the devil tried to obstruct my movements by making my car break down. But the Lord God urged me to move on. That there is no stop till I deliver you. Therefore, Mr. and Mrs. Obidike, your victory is sure. We must pray. Amen. Pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything 
you have done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, the hour has come. If truly you are the one that sent me to do this work, deliver your people in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ delivered blind Bartimaeus. I want that miracle to be transferred to her. Let her receive her sight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thou you spirit of inflammation. I command you to leave this body now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Hi! Hey, my eyes, my eyes. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. You see me? Yes. You see me? Yes. I can't see you. Hey. Hey. Obi, I can't. Hey. Breathe hey. in. Father. You. I, I, I can see you. You mean you can yes. see? Yes. I can see you. I can see we, we are wow. in the forest. I can see. I can see. I can see. Jesus. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. You mean Father, you can yes. see? Reverend Father. Wow. Eh? I thank you because you are the maker of heaven and earth. You are the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Thank you so much. Thanks for the healing. Glory be to God for exalting you. Amen. 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 I am from Amogu. I'm the son of Iweka. The late Prince Andrew, you know, is my cousin. Eh? Yes. Though I was abroad during his burial. Come, Sikwa. I've been wondering where I've met you before. Because I know I've seen you. Maybe because you didn't stay too long before you traveled for your priesthood something in abroad. Indeed, you are right. <laughs> Small world. And now that your sorrows are gone, you will return home. Gene? Hmm? Yes. Which home? Ah. <laughs> Father Edge, whatever, I don't just go there at all. We don't have a home anymore. Those people, they see us as outcasts. So let them just be there. See this place where we are in this bush, we are fine. At least luckily, this is the way I have to go. So I can, you know, get back to work. I'm a strong young man. I'll work. See this place. Don't, don't worry how it is. I'll fix it. No, no, we're not going there. That was before the miracle. Now that God has exalted you, you have to go home and prove your innocence and shame the devil. Moreover, whoever did this to you is suffering worse than you suffered. And his atrocities must be revealed, not only to you, but to the entire Amogu kingdom. Hmm. We must go. 
Because I, Reverend Father Moses, I will personally take you to my father and the elders to explain. Yes. Hmm. Mm, father. Oh, my son. Hey, please help me. I'm dying. I am dying, oh, holy mother of God. Father, <sighs> confess your sins and save your soul from eternal torture. Mm. Mm -hmm. You are confess. I will. I will confess. I, I am not what you people think I am. What? Oh, I am evil. Mm -hmm. I am evil. Oh. Ah, I made a covenant with Ogweri the deity. Ah, I killed people and sacrificed to him. Ah, ah, I am responsible for the death of Okoro, Ono, and many others. Eh? Hey, I even made Angela barren. Hmm? I am sorry, oh, please forgive me. Ah, I am also responsible for the death of the prince. Hey. Ah. Hey. Hey. Hmm? Hey. That OBDK and Nwama were accused of. Bali Malikukuti is the world of the spirits. It is the spiritual that controls the physical. Bali Malikukuti, you know the end from the beginning. I command the souls to appear now. I command you to appear now! Appear now! I killed him because of jealousy and vengeance for the land dispute I had with his father, Igwe Igbunna. Hey, you are heartless. I am sorry. I was also envious of the fact that the prince was successful. He was doing well and my only son, Uyindika, decided against my will and took to priesthood. Father Anano? Hey. I pretended that I, I, I loved the prince while I was waiting for a perfect opportunity to strike him. <coughs> I made it look like Huwama, his wife, and her lover OBDK were responsible, and I convinced the elders to believe my story. Hey, you. Hey. When the oath decision was taken by the Council of Elders as the only way for them to prove their innocence, I went secretly to meet with Evokevo, the High Priest. <clears throat> Iweka, the son of Ikemba, the son of Abale, the strongest wrestler in our land. The lion that rose in the jungle and every animal with us, including the great elephant. What did I owe this face at? Hevukevu, mm. I have a wish. Speak on. The gods, as five favor, you are. Thank you. 
in the next Ike market day, the elders of this kingdom shall be visiting you. The purpose of our visit is about the accusation leveled against Obidike and Mwama, about the death of the prince. Yeah. As usual, they are to swear an oath before Ogunjiji, the great oracle. I want Ogunjiji to find them guilty. Yes, if they are guilty as charged, they will face the consequence. Ogunjiji, never condone evil. You know that. That is why I am here. It doesn't matter whether they are guilty or not. Ogunjiji must find them guilty. Even when they are innocent? Yes. Mm. Impossible. The gods can never take part in evil conspiracy. Never. Evukevu, mm. I cannot underestimate your influence over the gods in this land. Whatever you ask them to do, they do it. Tell them to do what I'm asking for. And not when you ask for something evil. Oh, would you rather have them stone you to death? How do you mean? Yes. You and I are friends of old. We know each other's secret. Do not let me reveal your secret in the closet. Yes. Have you considered what the people will do when they find out that you raped the maiden, Uloma. Yes. You did not only rape her. You got her pregnant. And when she came to tell you that she's pregnant for you, as a result of the evil seed that you planted in her, what did you do? You silenced her by striking her to death. And she is drowned in Indidi River. When the people find out that you are responsible, it will be a shame on your part. Yes. Not only that, you will be disgraced out of this your office. And they will stone you to death according to the customs and tradition of this land. Have you thought of that? Mm. Iweka, I consider you evil. You are an evil man. Evokevu, we are evil here, you and I. When you scratch my back, I scratch you back. Do we have an understanding here? Are you threatening me? Is that a blackmail? It is up to you. It is up to you to do it. It's either my way or no other way. Hey! That was how I blackmailed the Vukevu, the oracle priest and inflicted them with a cause to make everybody believe that they were responsible. I am very sorry, my people. Hi! Chimo! So, you! You did this to us! You did this to us! Why? You're very heartless. Hi! Hey! Hey, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. Hmm? Tufia! Hmm. Hmm. It's like he's dead. He's dead. Huh? Hmm? Find out. Find out. Oh, go. Oh, Anna. Hey, he's dead. Hmm. If a minute, may go. We have to apologize. To him. Exactly. Exactly. How do you? Um. Obidike. Mama. Hmm. 
on behalf of the royal cabinet, we have to apologize to both of you for the insult and humiliations meted out to you for a sin you did not commit. We want you to know that it is not our own fault, but the fault of Iweka because of his wickedness. Now he has paid the supreme price with his life. I want to assure you that his body will not be buried in this our land. His body will be thrown into the evil forest Sorry. where it belongs, according to our tradition. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh God. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I want to beg for something. Mm -hmm. Let his body not be thrown into evil forest. He still remains my father. <laughs> it's not me. It's our tradition. You <laughs> uh, Bye bye. Uh -huh, so. My elders, uh, it has happened. Uh, one man and I, we suffered a lot, so much, for a crime we did not commit. Like you said, okay, come. So I'll try my best to comport myself. We were insulted, humiliated in this village. We were seen as outcasts in our own village. But I thank God that you people have seen it. We are innocent. I want to make an appeal, please, after this meeting, just as the whole village was told that we did, we committed this crime, let the whole village be informed that we are innocent. That will be done, I can assure you. Immediately we leave this place, we will go for a town hall meeting and they will summon everybody to the village square. Eh, Biko? Hmm? Ichie, Biko. Immediately after this our meeting, wow. tell everybody. Immediately, DK Kebo. One man. Go do the name. Please, my son. No, I I I it's okay. It's okay. I believe anybody in your shoes would have done the same. It's not your fault. Thank God everything is over now. We have been vindicated. Huh? It's okay. Nine. We are forgiving you. Eh? Yes. Oh, you are forgiving me? Yes. What, man? You are forgiving me? You are forgiving me? Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Thank you. You see, uh, that was why I invited you. If it has, if it has happened like this, can we please go inside? Okay. You will now give us food. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> The question is, now that the Igwe successor, the prince, is dead, who now occupies that adorable throne as the king of Amog? Since this is the first time in the history of Amog that a, uh, a king's successor will die without leaving a son to succeed him. Mm. Huh? I suggest we visit Abaja, the new example to help us on this issue. Mm. I think that is the question. Ah! Oh. Huh? Mm. I thought I was some man. Yes, I'm going to have a Your mystery is over. For the gods have spoken in this regard. Mm. The gods have chosen Obidike. Hmm? Obidike, the son of Abara. To face this great task. 
OBDK. The staff of authority will be held on his palms as the next king of Abogu. The gods have spoken, and that is final. Mm.